it's a little different than what I normally talk about. I normally talk about missing or murdered people, and this one is a little different. It involves murder, but for a different reason. I came across this on YouTube a while back. It was a video of a sheriff in Florida, this man who was shot and killed over um, a tow truck tow charge. And he had a disagreement with the uh, tow truck driver. Okay, let's see. Okay, this was from Fox 13 Tampa Bay. Polk Sheriff Grady Judd gives details on an investigation into the owners of a Mulberry Towing Company. Now, the guy's name is Michael Dean. That's the man that shot and killed the other man. Okay, so when I, when I came across that video and I started listening to it, basically, this Michael Dean and his wife owned a tow truck. And it wasn't even a tow truck. It was just a pickup truck. It had no markings on it. It had no registration, uh, uh, a li like a state license with the with the number on it, like most tow trucks are required to have. It had no uh, reflective lighting or anything on it. It w it was just basically illegal. Um, now, the mobile home park was an upscale mobile home park. It was a well-maintained and well-kept mobile home park. It wasn't. They didn't allow a lot of stuff on the lawns. They didn't allow, um, you know, junk sitting around outside and no junk vehicles. Each home, each mobile home um, slot or, you know, lot was allowed two cars, and they had to have graveled um, parking areas. They couldn't park in the grass. This man, this Michael Dean, he would come around there at night with a flashlight, him and his wife, and walk around looking for cars that were violating. And then he would tow them. So he, came, he encountered this man. Um, let me look this up real quick. The man had his car backed into his carport, underneath his carport, with his back, the license plate, the back part of his car was backed in, and this guy still towed his car, saying that his tag was dead. This, man, this happened in May 20, 2021, Lakeland. Florida, Mulberry. A Lakeland man was arrested on second-degree murder charges Monday night after a fight at his tow company yard turned deadly. Michael Shane Dean the second, 29, was arrested by Polk County Sheriff deputy after the sheriff's office said he shot and killed a man after an argument at his business, strapped transport towing and recovery in Mulberry, Florida. Dean is being held without bail. According to the sheriff's office, the incident began when a car belonging to Juan Muriel, 35, of Lakeland, was towed out of Stowe Manor Mobile Home Park for having an out-of-date tag. Now, I've got a car in my yard right now, and while that is on private property, still, there are a lot of people who have cars in their yards with out-of-date tags. As long as the car was parked in the manner that the mobile home owner, the mobile home park owner, said it had to be, which it was properly parked under the carport. And so he goes out with a flashlight and walks around these people's yards, finds this car backed in to his carport with a dead tag on it, and he tows it. It wasn't sitting out on the street. He wasn't driving the car. So what was the purpose in it other than money, right? So Muriel went to the tow yard to retrieve his car when he was informed he would have to wait for the tow truck driver to arrive. Now, here's the part that where the problem starts. When the man... 
when his car was towed, the car had nothing wrong with it. Yet when the tow truck driver arrived and the car was parked in the back of the lot, he tells this guy, it won't start, your car's tore up, it won't run. If you want it towed, we will, you will have to pay us to tow it back to your house. And he was going to charge him just to tow it from the back of the lot to the front of the lot. He was going to charge him yet another tow fee. Now you can imagine this guy's starting to get pretty ticked off about all this. So he's asking, why won't my car start? Why can't I just drive it off of the lot? Because it was running just fine when you guys came and got it. Mm, I don't know. Just my opinion. <laughs> so he went to the car lot. When Dan arrived, he asked Muriel to wait off of the property while he went to retrieve the car. While waiting for the vehicle, a verbal fight broke out between Dan's 27-year-old brother, Marshall Dan, and Muriel. When Muriel took possession of his car and began backing into the roadway, according to the sheriff's office, that's when Marshall Dean approached the vehicle and began punching Muriel through the driver's side window. So basically what it was was he refused to let them tow it back to his house. So they get into a verbal disagreement over the money, over this tow truck fee. So... This Michael Dean's brother starts attacking, physically attacking this man while he is inside of his car, backing his car out. So, Muriel took possession of his car and began backing out into the roadway. This is when the brother comes over and starts punching him through the driver's side window. Muriel attempted to exit his car, but Marshall Dean prevented him from opening the door and continued to punch him. Investigators say that Muriel put his car into gear and managed to pull away, traveling a short distance into the road. He then turned... Now, see, this is the part that he should have just kept on going and went home. But he was so angry and upset, and, this, and, and uh, he didn't want to leave there being, having been attacked, I guess. So, he turns around and he goes back into the the car lot and according to one side of the story is is that the brother jumps in front of his car and allows himself to be hit and the other one is that the man deliberately hit him so there's two side two stories two different witnesses telling two different sides to that but either way the brother is struck by the front bumper he's not hurt he's not injured um he falls onto the ground. Muriel then exits the vehicle. And this is when Michael Dean comes out and shoots three rounds from a handgun, striking him in the right side of his head. Now, according to the sheriff's office, he was struck from behind. So he was not... This Michael Dean called it standing his ground. This Florida law that says you can stand your ground if, you're, if you feel attacked or you feel threatened they threw that out because they said he he shot at him from an angle that the man could not see that he was getting ready to be shot at so he was of no threat so he shoots him in the in the right side of his head muriel and marshall den were both transported to the lakeland health center and doctors declared muriel dead Marshall Dean was treated and was stable and released. Investigators with the sheriff's office said bullet casings recovered from the scene mark Muriel's wound indicated that he was attempting to run away from Michael Dean, not toward him, when the shots were fired. So he was he was trying to run away and this man shot him in the back. Tow truck companies that have contracts to tow cars from private properties, such as apartment complexes or shopping centers, frequently have to deal with angry customers, he said. However, it's very rare that a physical fight occurs. Witnesses, um, I have witnessed several occasions where individuals show up to retrieve an impounded car and 
tensions arise. If the individual doesn't calm down, they are generally caught. Law enforcement is generally called. Um, so that's one part of the story. The video that the sheriff's officer talked, where he talks about it, he goes into a little more detail about it. This, Michael Dean had a record, so he could not legally operate this tow trucking company himself. So everything was in his wife's name. The tow truck was basically just a small white pickup truck that they had equipped with this hook to tow cars. It wasn't a rollback. It had, like I said, it did not have a tag on it showing that they were a licensed operator uh, through the state, like an ID. It did not have the um, proper lighting and stuff on it like a tow truck is supposed to have. So basically, while he was contracted by this mobile home park to tow illegally parked cars, basically what he was doing was going around the neighborhood and towing people's cars and then taking money from them and then doubling his money by telling them that they had to have their car towed back because it wouldn't start. So a lot of people say that he was disabling the cars so that they couldn't take them off the lot. So it's either pay for them to stay impounded on the lot or pay for us to tow it off of the lot and then go get you a battery and put in it. So he was getting paid twice and basically he was getting paid what the sheriff said in the video that he talked about this was that um, the wife was also fined for not having the proper um, lighting and stuff on the truck because it was in her name. And this sheriff, this sheriff for Polk County Sheriff, he basically said the same thing that I felt when I first watched it was that this guy was a criminal himself. He was criminally towing people's cars for no reason. They were not parked. He, it, they went around afterwards and interviewed people to get, to find out what, if any witnesses might have seen anything when the car was towed. And other people in the neighborhood said that he was doing the same thing. He was coming onto their property at night, shining a flashlight, walking around looking for cars that were not properly tagged. He towed one car for being parked on the grass. But basically what it was was that they had gravel in the driveway and grass had grown up between the gravel. So he towed the car and said that they were parked illegally on the grass. And stuff like that eventually comes to a head, you know. Um, so now jump ahead here to um, October of 2021. An accused murderer got the chance to get out of jail after being there for four months. A judge set bond for Michael Dean at $100,000. Part of the judge's decision was influenced by a video that was shown in court that shows what happened in the back of the tow yard that night, strapped, towing, and recovery in Mulberry. The state and defense came to opposite conclusions after watching the video. The defense said, shot, the defense said Dan shot in self-defense. The coroner... The coroner themselves said that the shot that killed the man came at an angle where he would have been turned away from the gun. Now, that doesn't mean that he might not have lunged at the guy before, and then when he pulled the gun out, he might have turned tail to run and then got shot in the head. But either way, he was turned in the direction away from the gun when he was shot, so... You know, 
the video allegedly shows Dan punching Muriel while he was in the driver's seat of the car. The, the man is dead, so he can't say why he felt the need to turn around and go back anger, pride, whatever it might have been. Now, there's no name on the truck. There's no lights on the top of the truck as it should have. There's no reflect reflectors on the truck. And the truck basically was just equipped with this hook. And it was considered really not to be legal, um, a legal tow truck. So a husband and wife towing company in Mulberry, Florida is accused of illegally towing 19 cars from a Lakeland mobile home park May the 15th and 16th. Polk County Sheriff Alpha said in the latest legal problem for the couple that the husband was charged with murder in the shooting death of a man whose car he had towed. Alyssa Dean and Michael Dean faced multiple charges after it was after an investigation found that the strapped transport towing company had many complaints filed against them by the residents of the Stoll Manor mobile home park. If people in the neighborhood said that the two the owners of the tow truck we're coming into the neighborhood at night with flashlights, walking around the neighborhood looking for cars to tow. Michael Dean has been in jail since May 18th after he was arrested on second-degree murder charges. Detectives reviewed a copy of the written and signed agreement between the Stoll Manor uh, Mobile Home Park and the towing truck company that said vehicles should be towed immediately if they are blocking exits parked on the grass or the street. This includes boats and trailers. The contract said the services were to begin May 15, 2021, and within two days they had towed 19 cars. Um, in a mobile home park that maybe had 20 mobile homes on it, maybe they towed 19 cars. Um, right here is a picture of the wife, the co-owner of the tow truck company. Florida law says in any county with a population of more than 500,000, any vehicle towed must be stored within a 10... This was something that the sheriff pointed out. That it had the tow truck could not tow the these cars to a tow lot no any farther than ten miles from where they pick it up at, and these people were doing that they were violating this agreement this law. Any vehicle towed must be stored within a ten mile radius from the point of removal. Violation is a third degree felony, according to Google Maps. It is seventeen miles from the mobile home park to the towing facility. So that was that many counts of felony counts. The 19th vehicle towed belonged to um, Muriel, the man that was shot and killed. A neighbor filmed the event showing the brother-in-law beating Muriel while he tried to exit his car and Michael Dean came out and that was when he was shot. Um, there is a video showing the car being towed by a neighbor and it shows that the car was parked under a carport. It was not parked on the grass. It was not parked on the street, and it was not blocking an exit. The vehicle's owner is shown holding the vehicle's tag. This is basically that the car was parked. He was on the street driving it. But the man still towed his car from his 
legally rented carport simply because it did not have the tag on it, even though the back of the vehicle was backed in where it would not have been. Nobody would have known that this car didn't have the tag on it except for the fact that they went around and shone a flashlight on it, you know. Florida law says during the process of any private property tow for a vehicle, if a person seeks the return of the vehicle, the tow must be stopped. The vehicle must be returned upon payment for of a reasonable fee, but no more than half of the posted rate. So if they charge $200, or let's say they charge, their normal top charge would be $200 to tow a car. And the man comes out and says, I don't want you to tow my car. And here's you $100, half of the tow fee. Then by law, that tow truck driver has to stop and take the car off of the tow. But he didn't do that. The homeowner is seen on video the car owner is seen on video showing the tow truck driver his tag and asking him not to tow his car, and he towed it anyway. So that was also a violation. Michael and Alyssa Dinn are accused of violating the law above by not stopping the tow in progress when confronted by the owner. Michael Dinn is charged with 21 added felonies. Related to illegal towing, Alyssa Dim was arrested on August 11th on charges of failure to have the vehicle that she, the, the tow truck was not legal. And um, she was also charged with all of the felony charges of towing um, past the legal uh, mileage. So I'm not seeing anything with any up with any the the latest that I could find is October of 2021 there's been nothing new that I can find about that but the reason that I wanted to talk about that was just because this parking war show People people should get a parking ticket if they're parked illegally, if they're parked in a handicapped zone, if they're parked in a loading zone, an ambulance zone, if they're parked and blocking an exit. But a lot of times these people get tickets just because they have a expired meter, which is maybe a minute and a half past because these people will walk around. They will see how much time is left on the meter. And they will walk up and down the street. And if the owner of that car doesn't come out and feed the meter before um, that hit clicks off, then they are there like a vulture flying in with their ticket pad to write them a ticket. I drive around residential neighborhoods, neighborhoods where people live, looking for somebody Maybe you just pull up to your friend's house and you were go, you're just going to run in there. Maybe it's your mom. You're going to run in their house for a couple of minutes to do something. And you park on the street and then you come back out and they're out there writing you a ticket. Or worse, towing your car. Because you were parked for two minutes. So luckily it just says that she is charged with false information to law enforcement during an investigation destroying and fabricating evidence. Um, that's really all this one says. And I, I'm not finding anything else about him either that's more updated. I know people want to make a living and maybe this was a way for them to come up with a, a way to make a living. But at, at the expense of murdering somebody over an argument over not being able or not wanting to pay a, an illegal tow charge. If I find any more updates on this, I will update.